I like to have the bacon the last layer before the mayonnaise dressing because I think the bacon flavor going into the mayonnaise just helps drive it home. Howdy folks, I am Martha and I'm walking you to Hirschberg's Miracle Homestead. The kitchen action today is a seven layer lettuce salad. And what all comes in a seven layer lettuce salad? Our bell pepper, lettuce of course, green peas, sweet onion, celery, hard boiled egg, bacon, then you put your dressing on and you top it with shredded cheddar cheese. And we have to make the bacon first, so I'm just going to shove all this aside and get the bacon. We're going to make it in the oven, and then that has to cool down before we can actually assemble it. So I will be back, and we'll give you the ingredients for the dressing when we're ready to put that together. I am ready to proceed in preparing the bacon. And since we want the bacon crumbled anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it in pieces and bake it that way. I want to take this time to give all our new subscribers a hearty welcome to our channel. Not just our new subscribers, but all of you. And if this is your first time with us, we hope you enjoy it and consider subscribing. We also thank each one of you who have liked, commented, and shared our videos. That helps our channel to grow, and we appreciate it very much. Now, it won't take two packs of bacon for the salad, but we thought we'd go ahead and do two packs, and then we can have some in the refrigerator. The bacon is ready for the oven. The oven is preheated to 350 and it'll bake for an hour. The peas I had gotten out and put it out here on the paper towel and it's thawed out quite a bit and a lot of the dampness went in there in the paper towel. So I'll set that aside till we're ready for it. The seven layer salad, the lettuce goes on the bottom. Okay, it would depend how big your head of lettuce is, of course. This ended up being two heads, but the one was small. I kind of layer the vegetables as they're listed on the ingredient list, and celery would be next. So, now what I'm going to use is this handy gadget. So, everything comes through pretty much the same size. And it looks like I need to cut this a little bit smaller. They have these vegetable choppers on Amazon. We got ours on an online estate auction. So that was a sweet find. We saw some other folks that we watch on YouTube using these and when we saw it on the online auction we recognized it immediately. Then it also has a measurement on the side here. One and a half cup, that's what we need. So now we can just take that off. Take this off. In. Distribute it out among your salad. Oh, it was handy enough. Set that aside. Put this back on for the next thing. After celery comes eggs. The official name for this chopper is the Chopped Wizard. We will leave an Amazon link for it in the description box. I want to thank those of you who have shopped through Amazon link as it also helps us here on the homestead and in caring for our buddy. Okie dokie. Overall that came off real easy. What we did was put the clear vinegar, put the clear vinegar in, in water and bring it to a boil then drop your eggs down in and boiled it for 15 minutes. Now 
Get this handy gadget back again. And the eggs will do the same way we did with the celery. Just put it on here. So here we have the eggs. So that's lettuce, celery, and eggs. And now after the celery, we need the peas. And I will put them in here so we can actually measure them by the cup. One recipe says a pack of peas. You all know as well as I do that a pack of peas now might not be as many peas as what it was a number of years ago. So that would probably be about three cups of peas. It's a rounding full of a two cup measure. And these were frozen and I got them out of the freezer and let them thaw out and a lot of that moisture went into those paper towels. Now we need a bell pepper. Okay, we'll finish them off with a chopper so it's about the same size as the other stuff we've been putting in there. For those of you who are whiz with a knife, it's probably faster for you just to give them a quick chop. <laughs> Now we have an onion, a sweet onion. Now the onion is where I really like this thing because you don't have to spend time chopping it up and having your eyes water. I think I'm going to let it with that go a little bit light on the onion. And now it's the bacon. And I like to have the bacon the last layer before the mayonnaise dressing because I think the bacon flavor going into the mayonnaise just helps drive it home. And this is a salad that can be made ahead with the dressing on and it does not matter because the dressing just stays on the top it's not mixed in with everything and then when you um, when you spoon it out then the dressing comes with each serving but what's under the dressing then stays dry okay the dressing for this salad is very simple a cup of mayonnaise to one tablespoon of sugar. I'm not going to mix together three cups of mayonnaise to three tablespoons of sugar. And if you feel like it doesn't take it all, then you can always put it in the refrigerator and use it on another salad. And three tablespoons of sugar. We like the Duke's mayonnaise. And it might be my imagination, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I like to use the mayonnaise at room temperature. I actually opened up a new bottle, so a new jar, so it would be room temperature and not cold. And then the sugar, I would think, would dissolve better. So 
so just give that a good mix. And now distribute that bacon out a little bit more. No, oh, that's good enough. Now just cover the whole thing, but do not mix it in. This kind of seals it off then. Well, there's only one thing left to put on. Shredded cheddar cheese, and we like the mild, but I guess that's up to each cook, each individual. You know what? My hand doesn't fit down in there very nicely. I'll just dump the cheese out in here. And just cover the top. Makes it very, very nice that there's no last minute work to this. You can make it ahead of time, tuck it away in the refrigerator, and it's ready for you when you're ready for it. And here we have it, folks, a seven layer salad. So yummy. Do you see the layers in there? Let me bring it up to you so you can see the layers. And there it is, seven layer salad. This salad holds over very well for several days as long as you do not stir it. The recipe will be in the description box. Howdy folks, welcome to the golden thought of this episode. I am Marth and I'm here with our very special brother Marvin. He's also my twin brother and he's better known as Buddy. The golden thought for today. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Nahum 1.7 isn't that such a warm, comforting feeling, knowing that the Lord knows the ones who trust in Him. And He is good. He is a stronghold in the day of trouble. And He knows those that trust in Him. We thank you for joining us on the episode today. We hope you've been blessed and encouraged. We thank you and God bless.